Assalamu alaikum. I'm afraid I'm having video recording issues, so for this video I'm going to have to add the sound on top of pictures, which I know isn't ideal for understanding it, because it's easier to follow along if there's a picture on the screen, video on the screen, but unfortunately it's where it has to be, so please try and focus on what I'm saying, inshallah, and enjoy the video. So I know the title of this video is quite a controversial topic, so I just want to clear up right now, I'm not going to be discussing the controversial issues, like, at all, because there's scholars out there, the evidence is out there for things like, I don't know, saying Merry Christmas or giving presents or things like that, I'm not here to, I'm not a scholar, I'm not here to tell you which way is the right way or anything. So inshallah, if you want to know, see what the scholars say, formulate your opinions based on that. But I'm going to focus on more positive things. So, um, for example, because we don't celebrate Christmas as Muslims, obviously, a lot of Muslims will deliberately avoid anything and everything to do with Christmas. And I think that's not necessarily always a good thing, because, for example, on the 25th of December, pretty much everyone is going to have a day off work. So, the Christians and the non-Muslims, they enjoy spending time with their family on Christmas, and spending time with family is encouraged in Islam, like, keeping the ties of kinship is very important in Islam. So if everyone has the day off, it makes sense to be spending the day with your family. It's not celebrating Christmas, it's just celebrating the fact that everyone's available. So, inshallah, if you can do that, then don't think, oh, I don't want to organise something specifically today to do with my family because that's what people do at Christmas. Just think, Islam encourages spending time with my family. I should spend time with my family. And also, especially for converts, if your family is still non-Muslims and they still celebrate Christmas, don't distance yourself from them. Like, obviously avoid things to do with sin and avoid, like, alcohol and everything like that. But don't avoid going to see them all together. If they've invited you, inshallah, try and turn up and spend time with them and support them and everything, because you're still their son or daughter and you don't want them to see Islam as a thing that stole you away from them. They want this, you want them to see that you're still the same person, just, like, more spiritual. So, inshallah... Just spend time with your family, have a great time with your family, and don't avoid it just because it's Christmas. Another thing that's associated with Christmas for the non-Muslims is good, like bringing peace and goodwill to everyone. And again, those are things that are encouraged in Islam. So if you're like, I don't know, watching an advert on TV like about seeing starving children or something, and at the end it says something like, it's Christmas time, give something. Don't not give something because it's encouraged, it's like use Christmas to try and sell that to you. Don't think, oh, I want to avoid it because it's Christmas. If you've been affected by that advert to want to give money, do give money. Giving charity is a good thing in Islam, inshallah. And so just because it was a Christmas advert doesn't mean you're giving money because of Christmas. It's all about your intention. And if your intention is to do a charitable thing for good deeds and everything to help people, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. So don't avoid giving charity or doing good things for other people just because you're feeling encouraged by everything around there. That's good. Anything that encourages you to do good is good, even if it's not necessarily something we follow, like, as Muslims. So yes, while we don't celebrate Christmas, the positive values, we can still act upon them if we're, like, so inclined. So do, inshallah, continue trying to do good deeds as you do the rest of the year through. Don't just avoid doing something specifically because you were influenced by Christmas. The last point I would like to make is that, obviously, at Christmas, we have a lot of non-Muslim people around us, like work colleagues, friends, etc., and if someone says to you, Merry Christmas, whether or not you want to say Merry Christmas back to them again, like, like I say, I'll leave it to the scholars, leave it to your own opinion. But don't just say, I don't celebrate Christmas and walk off. Because that's not polite, and as Muslims we should be polite and like friendly and kind towards our non-Muslim fr friends and people around us. So you can say instead, thank you, I don't celebrate Christmas but I really appreciate the wish. Hope you have a great day, hope you have a great holidays or something instead if you don't want to say Merry Christmas. So don't, again, don't be rude or disrespectful. They're trying to they're trying to share something positive with you. They're not saying it to be offensive. They're saying it because they care about you and they perhaps didn't think that you don't celebrate Christmas so it wouldn't mean anything to you. So make sure they understand that you do appreciate that you, that you they care about you. So inshallah, try and share that care, basically. Share the care, spread the love all, all, all year through, like you would. So yeah, inshallah, as alaykum.